got back from lunch. And what do you know? Okay. So it's my uh, phone on my front desk ringing. Hey, uh, what's up? This is Detective John, or Detective, um, Officer. I'm actually part of the SWAT department, um, so I don't know why. I'm actually one of the commanders of the SWAT department here. So I guess I can call myself Commander. I mean, I don't really address myself as Commander, but sure. Alright, hello, uh, Detective Beast, what's up? Got a location on potential suspect. Um, can you explain a bit more? Potential suspects can mean anything. You know, having SWAT come here for a potential, come any, come anywhere on a potential suspect is, uh, is not very, yeah. Alright, and, uh, what do you need us to do? You need you guys to break in and enter. Alright, um, do you need to meet me? Or do you want me to meet you and we can discuss about this a bit more? Okay, 402701. Alright, and anything else? I can come and meet you if you'd like. We can talk about this a bit more. Usually I don't go into big raids until, uh, usually I don't go into big raids until we, uh, find out a lot more details, which will really be helpful. So, alright, uh, yeah, where, where, where are you right now? I can go ahead and meet you. Just talk about thing. Just talk about it. Cause it, it, the more the more I know is the better. You're at the hospital. Okay, I'll go ahead and meet you at the hospital in about five minutes. Just gotta ins inform my uh, crew. All right. All right. Yep. Sounds good. All right. So we have a potential hit on a potential suspect. I don't know much about this. Um. All right. Hey guys. Um, come over here and huddle up by me. Um, it's funny how you're all waiting here. Uh, we might have a potential hit later tonight, so just be ready, alright? Um, I have to head down to the hospital right now and go ahead and find out what's going on. Um, and I gotta go get some more information, so just, uh, be ready. Uh, no, it's, I think it's a crime scene over there, I'm not sure. Um, uh, but, I'll j just wait here, get ready, get geared up. Um, change your ammo, magazines, do whatever you need to do. I'll be back, alright? Alright, so, I don't know what they're gonna do. But, in the meantime, me, I gotta go head down to that scene. Uh, maybe, maybe it wasn't, maybe it's not the worst idea to take them down to the scene with me. But, I don't think I want to. Wait, one out of made 11 speaking with a witness. Okay, maybe it is, okay, so maybe it is a crime scene down there. All right, hold on. We're we're gonna head down there, see what's going on. Luckily, the hospital isn't too far from us. Um, but from what I'm hearing on this radio chatter, it's it's not it's not looking very good. That's so that's unfortunate. Oh, yep. I already see some police lights there. Uh, it doesn't look too good. All right. Well, I need to know if I can be let in. Uh. Okay, so come on through. Alright, cool beans. Okay. Alright, now I gotta find Detective Beast. I don't know what he looks like. Uh, hey, is there Detective Beast around here? I guess that's that's him. Uh, hi, uh, Mr. Beast. What's going on here? No, this is a big old crime scene. What happened? This is a hospital. <laughs> How could there be this much of a crime? I've never seen this before. Never seen this much of a crime scene at the hospital before. Big situation happened. Uh, alright. Uh, okay, I see that guy getting interviewed. Uh, so, yeah, what exactly happened here? I kinda need to know. Uh, hi, uh, detective. We got some intel from a witness. Uh, may I go speak to the witness? If that- wait, is that guy the witness? Okay. Hold on, I go speak to him. I need to, need to know. All right, if you guys want to follow me over here, it'd be better. It'd be better to get some words from the witness. Hey, uh, sorry to interrupt you, sir. Uh, but I, I, I need to know uh, what's going on here. I'm Commander John, uh, with the River City SWAT Department and uh, Special Weapons and Tactics. Yeah, I, I, 
They called me down here for some reason. Apparently, there's a hit on some some suspects. And I just need to know a little bit more so we can bring these guys down. Um, I've yet to see any footage or anything, which is the unfortunate part. But I guess, I guess that's how it goes. So, if you could just tell me what happened, that'd be, that'd be great. Yeah, three armed men broke the, through the doors and they robbed me from documents. Oh, okay, documents. Um, are they classified documents? I don't, th oh, okay. So, are they, like, official documents? Because usually, I mean, if they're, like, medical records or anything, we wouldn't go after them. Okay. Is it? Okay. Oh, you're transporting them. Okay. Is it doc- Okay, uh, detective, I need you to answer this one for me. Is it documents that the public isn't allowed to see? Like, our SWAT documents, people can't see? Okay, so it's like that type of thing. Okay. Okay. Alright, and, uh, do you mind sending the footage over to my computer in my van? If I go ahead and look at that footage. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's pretty serious. Being locked behind- a safe all right go ahead and send that to me um we're gonna take these guys down for you sir i'm so sorry that this happened to you um but we'll we'll, we'll take this down yeah yep of course of course all right yeah just uh, send them to me in my computer and i can go uh oh i'm sorry i can go ahead and uh go ahead and take the execute on these guys it might take me a few days because i do have to also get in coordination with the chief I have to gain coordination of where these guys actually are. You mentioned on the phone, Postal 412 and 701, which is... Oh, it's actually it's actually very close. Hold on. It's down here. Uh, I don't know what could be down there. Maybe this building? I'm not sure. Okay, I, I have to go back in my computer to get that. But I'll go ahead and watch up the footage, and uh, we'll be good from here. But thank you so much, officer. Or detective, I'm sorry. Alright, you guys have a good one. Uh, good luck with this scene, by the way. Uh, hope hope everything hope everything clears up alright. You as well, you as well. Ooh, that's a nice vest you got there. Uh, sir. I just happened to notice the red vest, rescue vest. I worked in the fire department before. I'd just never seen that before. Must, must be a new thing, must be a new thing for sure. Alright. New this year, yeah. That's nice. Alright. So, I'm gonna go ahead and watch over this, uh, footage. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, take it over to the, uh, um, department, uh, the meeting room. The, uh, meeting room and, uh, my team, we're gonna go ahead and watch the footage. And then we're gonna figure out what, what we can do next. So, apparently, guys, apparently, the hospital was robbed. So... I, I don't know what that means for um, them, but apparently from what I was told, there's documents that, uh, like, classified documents that were stolen, and uh, they need us to get it back. So, yeah. We're gonna have to try to go get those back. <sighs> Today's gonna be a long day, or night, I should say. Alright, we arrived back. Alright. Oop, you guys are still here. Alright, so about 20 minutes ago, guys, I received that call. Uh, why don't you guys go have a seat for me? Go have a seat for me. Um, where's the other one? Where's the other one? Anybody know where he went? Uh, we're missing one. Anybody know where he is? Okay, go ahead and I'll go ahead and give him a call. There he is. He sprinted in so fast, I could barely even see him. Alright. So, here's some footage I'm about to play of some traffic cameras, okay? More of the story, um, there were documents robbed from the hospital mid-transportation and uh, were um, subject to go get them back before they flee the city. And we're doing that t by tomorrow, alright? Uh, so, we're going to go out for a stalker mission, but I do want to... You guys need to watch this footage, so I'll go ahead and play that right now. So, go ahead and watch that. I already watched it, but so as you guys will see up in that footage, there's three, there's three men in all black. One of them was wearing a beanie, and then there's two 
classic type of mafia style cars um and you can see them breaking some traffic laws stashing their vehicles most importantly so we know their general location I, d I don't know if they really coordinated out where their location is because they stashed their vehicles and took off running so that it could mean they're baiting us to go over there it could mean they're not so um we're gonna go out and do a stalker mission in the unmarked van um so go go ahead and guys grab your binoculars you don't need any gear um, go ahead and grab your binoculars um hats if possible something you don't need your swat gear um until we actually do the raid we're only going to be watching for now we're only going to take a post so uh get all cozy get your binoculars get maybe a small a small arms weapon just in case uh anything does happen and uh other than that um meet me in the van all right jeez okay they are ready to go so that's very good i'm actually gonna go ahead and get a small arms weapon um from this uh box here so i don't want this m4 anymore yeah we'll use the big guns later guys so just get out your uh small arms meet me in the van come on buddy come on we need we need to hurry up and get down there all right, everyone in the uh, unmarked van, let's go. Guess he forgot something. All right, everyone is here. Now we're gonna have to go. All right, guys. So what they told me, the initial postal code is four one two and seven zero one. Okay. So we're gonna have to go down there. Uh, the it should the sun should be setting very quickly from now on. So by the time we get there, it should be closer to darkness, so that we can blend in more. Um on the ground okay once we get there we're gonna have to find a stationary and we're or a station i don't know why i said stationary and we're gonna be we're gonna be um in the dark for a few hours so get comfy this is not gonna be fun yep as i said not very fun so we're gonna go ahead and stash our van here um we don't want to make us too hidden but we don't want to make us too uh not hidden so make sure you guys have your stuff um flashlight if you, um no flashlights guys no flashlights we need to stay hidden as possible let me get our, my binos okay so um where's where's the other one where is he get out of the van man oh so, um so you you and me we're gonna stay over here by the van we're gonna try to get some binoculars down near these mountains we don't know where they are so um searching it's going to be searching uh, more than um more than really uh like spying because we don't know where they are but if they're around this area um then uh, we should have no problem i did see their cars are over here so it couldn't have gone too far um so let's just search the area if you if you guys need anything go ahead and radio me um i will have it on if you guys do see anything now you and you you guys are gonna go over there to the left of that um blue and uh brick building you guys are gonna go to the left of that okay all right ready go uh make this uh pretty stealthy guys make sure you have your binoculars and stuff all right you guys take a bush we're gonna be we're gonna be we're gonna be here for a while, so we need to get we need to get comfy. Just take take your post. Um. Hmm. Maybe I'll okay. Hmm, maybe I'll go by this tree. Why not? Yeah, let's go by this tree. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and sit by this tree. Um. Yep. He found his place. So with the binoculars, I'm able to see like houses and stuff. I mean. You know, they might have a getaway house. We're technically not allowed to go in house in a house. Um, so I mean having a view over the houses is really good because I don't like um I could see everything, like I don't obviously I don't want to see inside of people's houses, but if they do end up coming out of the house, um then uh we'll be able to see them, so that's good. Jeez, twenty minutes. Don't see very much. Uh, wait, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, okay. So we got three people. What are they using? Flashlights? 
where the heck are they going? Uh, are they going to the house? Alright, uh, anyone picking this up on radio? Anyone picking this up on radio? Anyone picking this up on radio? Alright, uh, let's see what they do here. Whoa, what are they doing? They're going inside a house? They just break in? Oh, they did break in! Oh my, okay, uh... I don't know. I don't know what to do. I do not want to call the police because then that'll ruin our whole raid. Um, let me let me actually notify some of the police. All right. Um, officers, be aware of a house robbery. Uh, I'm gonna say, do not respond. We have to get this raid correct, guys, or else these guys probably will not be taken down. So the worst, the le the worst, like the thing we don't want to do right now, is uh, go ahead and have the police respond there because they're definitely gonna start running. So we don't want that. Yeah. So they just came out. Like I think they just robbed the house. Wait, they have food in. Th Did they just rob the house for food? There's no way, right? Okay. Wait. Where are they going? What is back there? Hold on. What the heck is back there? I don't want them to see me. Is that a... Is that a bunker? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I guess like... Oh, he's searching for people. Hold on, I might as well... I might need to back up. Is that like a little bunker? You're joking. That is not a bunker. That's like an underground little, like, cave. Okay, uh... Okay. Alright, uh... Let me... Let me go ahead and lay down here and make sure he doesn't see me. That's... Yeah, because he's definitely looking for people. Alright, guys. Uh, we're trying to find our group now. Hey, guys, group up, group up. Alright, we... Where are the other two? Okay, the others are over here. Did everyone catch that on their binoculars? Everyone? Alright, good, good, good. So we have a general location of where they are, which is very good. Usually, guys, criminals are probably more clever. And, uh... We wouldn't be able to tell where, where they are. But, you know, these criminals aren't very clever. So let's head back to the station, guys. We're going to go ahead and gear up. Uh, time is currently 18.50. So um, we're going to start our raid at about um, 0200, okay? At about 2 a.m., we're going to start our raid. Um, raid on that bunker. Because hopefully by then they're asleep, you know? And, uh, yeah, hopefully by then they are asleep. So then we'll be able to perfectly execute this raid is you know when they're asleep we'll uh hopefully be able to just raid in there we'll hopefully just be able to raid in there guys and then um go like just just arrest them like the worst thing is the the bad part is we don't know we do not know what's in that bunker we don't know how big the bunker is so we could open the doors to those bunker to that bunker and them just be holding guns at the door. And then uh you probably know what happens um after that. So hopefully that doesn't happen. You know? Okay, yeah, that crime scene is very much cleared. That guy's still there? And okay, maybe he's uh Yeah, maybe he just has to be there. I don't know. It was weird. But it is um almost 7 p.m. and it gets dark very fast here. So we're just gonna wait. You know, if they do end up moving their pack, we're going to be done for, you know. Okay, don't mind that. Alright, uh, SWAT um, personnel, head to the briefing room. Do not get any gear on. SWAT personnel, head to the briefing room. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to go ahead and brief them on what's going on. Then, uh, hopefully, after that, we'll uh, execute this raid. Um... We haven't had a raid in about a week. I wouldn't call them a raid. I just feel like doing our actual SWAT duties. We haven't had anything major in a few days. So, I mean, yeah, hopefully we get some action tonight. All right, we're waiting for the uh, other personnel member. Him, he's always last. Um, okay. So, guys, we're going to uh, raid on that bunker, okay? Bunker is between Postal four one two and seven seven zero one i think i'm pretty sure and uh, what we're gonna do we're gonna have two sides of breaching it's a it's a single door bunker so what we're gonna do we're gonna have three people on the right side of the bunker 
um, with their weapons. We're going to have the um, side with two people open the door. When the doors are open, we're going to go in there. The, the, the side with three people, you guys are going to go in there first. Side with two people, you're going to go in last. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to oppress the criminals with our weapons. Make sure they do not pick up a weapon. If they pick up a weapon, you have authority to hit them, do anything. Um, firing at them is the last resort. Okay, we're going to try to get these guys in custody. Now remember, there is one guy who did steal the documents. You guys are going to hand him over to me. I'm going to interrogate him because he was the one who went in there and stole the documents. And uh, we need to get those documents back ASAP. Everyone on board? All right. Now, uh, everyone, if you guys didn't eat, probably go eat. Go ahead and uh, gear up by 2 a.m. We have a few hours until the raid. Um, we're going to... But um, it's, since it's only 7... Um, yeah, you guys might as well probably go take a break or something. We're not going to do this uh, raid any earlier because we want to make sure they're sleeping. So, um, yeah. Meet me back here at 2 a.m. Alright? You guys are free to go. Whew, that was a good brief. I think I'm, I think I'm improving my duties as commander. I'm not going to lie. I think that was pretty nice. Uh, yeah, you can go ahead and read that if you'd like. Alright. So I think what I'm doing, we'll get a we'll get a nice snack. Whew! All right, guys, it's getting closer and closer to 2 a.m. and uh, I just fi finished uh, getting all my gear ready. And, you know, hopefully well, you're kind of late. They're all supposed to be in the meeting room right now, and that guy's, of course, he's late. But uh, yeah, hopefully they're all in the meeting room. And I gotta go ahead there because it is indeed 2 a.m. Well, it's like 1:40 right now, so we got 20 minutes to get there. Yep, hopefully everyone is in there. Uh, okay, yep. Ooh, okay, they're all geared up now. Alright, guys. Get your serious faces on. We're not playing around anymore, okay? Make sure all your ammo's loaded. Make sure none of your magazines are uh, corrupted. And make sure you have your game faces on. This is not like... This is not one of those things that we go to and uh, there's um, active... Uh, police and stuff already there. This is us and us only. We've gotten clearance by the chief of police to execute this raid. And, uh, we, 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 we gotta get this first try. There, there is no second try. Everyone understood? Everyone understood. Okay. Alright. Everyone load up to the vans. You guys pick what van. We have three vans. Mine is the unmarked. And then we have two other ones, um, that we are going to, uh, take just so we can load in the criminals in and uh take them to the county jail once we're ready time is currently 1 46 so we have just under 15 minutes to uh get to that scene and execute the raid hopefully they are sleeping because if they aren't sleeping this it's not not gonna be very good you know uh so yeah really really hope they are sleeping all right everyone ready um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with my rear lights on. Nobody else turn your lights on. Turn your headlights on. I'm gonna go with my rear lights on. Just so people know. Best to get in the swap vans. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is not gonna be a great raid. I could just already tell. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it will be. Maybe, maybe it might, might not be. It might be. Who knows? Let's take the back way. Like the dirt roads. I don't know, I like taking dirt roads because, um, I don't know, it just feels more of a shortcut. Alright, we're here. Alright, we're, mm, let's just find a parking. Two of you go on the left, I'll go on the right. Um, both of you go on the left of the store, I'll go on the right of the store. Park as close as you can to the mountains. Well, that is not the left of the store. Now you got yourself into a hole. Good job. Looks like I need to retrain you. Alright, all SWAT units. Meet me at the orange tree. Um, right behind the store. Let me turn my headlights off before they know we're here. Alright. I think we're ready for action. Just gotta load up my, uh, weapon here. I think we're good. Alright. So who's gonna be on this side? Me. Um, night vision goggles. 
no night vision goggles me and uh you we're, we're gonna be on the um right side um what were there them two they're gonna open the doors and we're gonna head in there all right one by one hold them at gunpoint if they try to reach for a weapon you guys know your levels of assault okay try to get them into custody all right let's move all right doors here everyone be be, be very quiet be very quiet cannot alert them that we're here all right make sure to check the surroundings as well um perfect okay perfect nobody's there all right line up line up line up line up line up all right behind me behind me all right everyone ready pull the door open in three two one all right everyone put your hands up everyone put your hands up put your hands up and do not move put your hands up and do not move at all do not move everyone take one one by one turn around turn around facing the wall turn around facing the wall all their weapons are stashed behind here. Hey, hey, do not move. Get them into handcuffs. All the weapons are over here. Get them into cuffs. Get them into cuffs. Get them into cuffs. Turn around right now or you will be shot. Turn around right now. Okay. Get them. Get them in. All right. You, sir, are you the leader? Oh, oh yeah, this guy's the leader. I remember from the footage. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take you into, into cuffs, man. All right, turn around right now. Turn around or I will drag you. Turn around or I will drag you. Turn around or I will drag you. Want to play that game? Get into handcuffs. Hug the wall for me. All right, everyone is clear to search. Everyone is clear to search. All right, you have anything on you? No, I'm not going to loosen the cuffs up. You didn't want to listen to me, did you? It's a serious business. All right. All right, now you do you want to tell me where those documents are? You want to tell me where the documents are? Okay, never? Alright, perfect, perfect. Alright. No, I, I'm gonna, you're gonna tell me, or else bad things are gonna happen. You want, you wanna play that game? You gonna, you wanna play that game? Tell me. Tell me, or bad things is gonna happen. Okay, you don't wanna tell me? Alright, yeah, the, 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 okay, tell me, right now. You think I'm scared? Tell me, right now. Where are they at? Where are they? Go help load into the vans. Go load them into the vans, guys. I'm not scared of you. Oh, you you want to be scared of me? Mm, take that. Yeah. I right, guys, before you guys bash me in the comments, I know uh, you're not allowed to like hit people during interrogation, but uh, this is a role play, and I'm gonna have to do it just to get these documents back. Where are the documents? Tell me. Go help load load him into the van. Go load him into the van. Do not leave him unattended. I don't know what you were thinking. Alright. Turn around. Mm, these cuffs. Eat the wall. Alright. Once they're loaded into the vans, um, let's get one person to help me search this place. You don't want to tell me where the documents are? Okay. Okay. Alright. Perfect. Alright, get out. Get out of there. Go pushing you out all right hey uh buzz go ahead and search the uh go ahead and start searching since you don't have anybody i'll go ahead and load them into the van and uh yeah all right i gotta keep them in this van because all right is there any room in this van I need one of the vans to keep them in here i need to go ahead and search the uh i need to go ahead and search the bunker there's room in here all right go ahead and put them in there go ahead and put them in there all right, you guys pull security. Make sure they don't do any any funny movements. Go ahead and search this bunker. Need to find out where these dang documents are. He didn't want to tell me where the documents are, so gotta go ahead and find them. Hey, no, no, no. You go, go pull security. Go up and pull security. I don't know why that guy. He's always doing something. Like I don't know why. All right, Buzz. Did you find them? Is that them? Are they here? You find them? Oh, okay. Alright, well, these boxes are unopened. Hopefully they're right here. Nope. Nope. Not in this one. Not in this one. Let's move this big old thing over here. Alright, I found them. I found them. I found papers. 
Find papers. All right. Classified documents. Yup, 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 yup. Okay. Found them. I found them. All right. Uh, I'm gonna have to go give a call to the uh, guy in transport. Go out there and get the, get the SWAT member. Get get the guys ready. We need to go. Uh, need to go make this thing happen. All right. Let's call that guy who uh, needed the documents. All right. Hey. 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 This is uh, Commander John. We have successfully found the documents. They are safe. They are unscratched. Um, and we have all of the criminals in custody. Yep. Uh, as soon as we take them down to the correctional facility, I will uh, go ahead and head down to the hospital and return them to you. Alright? I'll give an ETA about 20-30 minutes. 20-30 minutes on the... Alright. Yep, of course. Uh, see you then. Right, yep, go ahead and give that those uh, documents to the um, guy at the hospital. Whew, that was this was a tough night, tough night. All right, guess they're uh, going to transport, even though I didn't give them a clearance, but it's okay. All right, you guys have clearance. Go ahead and transport them to the correctional facility. And I, this is like a very bad road place. Don't tell me I'm stuck, right? We also have those stash cars. We're gonna go ahead and have maybe have to get a uh, DOT to uh, go ahead and take those stash cars. Maybe, maybe run those cars. Make sure they haven't been involved with anything uh, criminal. Oops, going the wrong way, aren't I? Right, I think they're here already, right? No, they aren't. All right, I think they're just right behind me, and. All right. I don't have any of the criminals with me, so you just have them back up into the uh, thing back here. All right, come on, come on. We're almost there. You can hear them banging on the walls and from in the inside. Yeah, they are really misbehaving. All right, guys, let's try to get them into the loading dock. Um, have them take their selfies. Correctional officers will um, will correctional officers will handle them from there. Get get uh get your guy out of there, and uh, yeah, let's head inside here. Now I gotta go ahead and start filling out paperwork. Then get some correctional guys in here. Come on, start unloading, start unloading. All right, bring them in slowly, guys, and uh, place them in a holding cell. Correctional staff will uh do everything else. We can get out of here. Return those documents, and uh, ultimately, everyone just have a good day. Place them in the holding cell. They can be with each other. Doesn't really matter. Now the holding cells, you cannot escape. There, there's, there's no way you're escaping a holding cell. After that, lock, go ahead and make double, triple check. The doors are locked. And uh, you guys head back to the station. I'm going to have to go return to the hospital. Give the guy his documents. And uh, yeah, just go head down there. Other than that, guys, the day, day is over with. Can't believe. It's a pretty long day, and I'm getting very tired, so really glad it's over. If you did enjoy the video, hit the like button and subscribe. Other than that, I'm going to head down to the hospital, turn this guy, and then I'm going to turn this guy's back.